welcome to our channel in this session we are going to discuss about java features also called as java buzzwords so the first one is simple java is a simple language and java is easy to learn and the syntax for writing the java programs the syntax is also very easy and it is very easy to understand the java program so generally c++ java syntax is mainly based on c++ and compared to some c programming languages the most difficult topics of explicit pointers all those complicated topics operator overloading from c++ all those complicated topics are removed in java so that is the reason java is simply and at the same time if any unreferenced objects are there you no need to do explicitly so java has an automatic garbage collection so because of this features because of this one we can say that java is a simple language next one object oriented so object oriented is the paradigm main concept is on the data so c is a procedure oriented programming language here mainly the things related to functions but coming to object oriented programming language everything is treated as an object so here this object oriented is implemented by using java so in java everything is treated as an object and main thing is we are designing an application with different types of objects each one consists of the data and the behavior and generally object oriented in the sense we have many principles are there class object inheritance polymorphism encapsulation abstraction many principles are there now the next one is platform independent so i already explained the platform independent in the last session that is the difference between object to code and byte code what is the platform independent simple thing so during generation of byte code during generation of byte code the compilation stage that compiler does not depends on the operating system the compiler does not depends on the operating system suppose if you are generated a class file that is the byte code you can write the byte code in mac operating system linux operating system windows operating system and you can run on any operating system you can run on any operating system java is platform independent and architecture neutral what is mean by architecture neutral architecture means mission java does not depends on the mission suppose coming to the previous one c generates object to code during object to code generation process operating system is involved internally the operating system depends on the mission for example in c language what is the size of integer 2 bytes or 4 bytes depending upon the mission 32 bit mission the size of integer is 2 byte 64 bit mission the size of integer is 4 bytes suppose coming to java whatever the mission the size is 4 bytes that means the byte code does not depends on the architecture the byte code does not depends on the mission next java is a secured language how can you say that java is a secured language 
Java has no concept of pointers. Why? Pointer means directly we are doing operations on the addresses. So, Java does not have the concept of explicit pointers. And Java programs runs inside JVM. Java programs runs inside one virtual mission. So, outside persons is unable to handle. Outside functions unable to handle this one. And Java provides the concept of exception handling. Exception handling. Okay. Java by default supports different cryptographic approaches also. Robust. Next one is robust. Simple thing. Robust means strong. So, you can say that Java is a strong language. How can you say that? Compared to remaining, Java has strong memory management. Why? Java consists of default automatic garbage collection is there. If you have automatic garbage collection, any unreferenced objects are removed and free up the memory. It is used for another object. So, a strong memory management is there. And also, again, Java has the concept of exception handling and Java has the concept of type checking. So, blindly any data type is not possible to take. So, type checking is there, exception handling is there. Okay. Now, another one is portable. Portable in the sense, once the bytecode is generated, once the bytecode is generated in one mission, to carry the bytecode to any platform. Platform in the sense OS. So, bytecode is generated in Windows OS. We can take that bytecode and execute in Mac OS and execute in Linux OS without does not required any implementation. Does not require any implementation. So, because of this, Java is called write once, run anywhere. If you are writing one time in one platform, you can run any number of times at anywhere. You can run any number of times anywhere. Next, high performance. <coughs> high Performance. What is mean by high performance compared to traditional interpreted programming languages? The Java bytecode is almost too similar to native code. Almost too similar to native code. Okay. So, it produces because of security reasons, because of different uh, no pointers, exception handling. The performance is improved a lot. Because of the concept of constructors are there. So, no need to initialize the variables by using separate method. Object creation only we can initialize the variables like that. Whenever we are moving topic by topic, you will get the complete idea of all those features. Uh, another one is distributed. What is mean by distributed? So, I think you know the distributed banking applications are there. Distributed applications are there. So, Java is the distributed. By using Java, you can design distributed applications. EJBs. E electronic Java beams are used for distributed. Simple thing. This future purpose is to access the files by calling the methods from any mission. Suppose if the file is available under one mission, if you want to access the file in another mission, we can access this file through internet. On the internet, the files are distributed among multiple missions. Next one, multi-threaded. Next one, multi-threaded. What is a thread? Thread is simply 
a small part of the program a small piece of the program so in java multiple threads are executed simultaneously that is at a time we can execute multiple threads and the threads share the common memory area also mainly used for multimedia application at a time graphic applications more number of things at a time need to be happened so multimedia applications web applications this is used and another one is dynamic java is dynamic means here no need to load the classes at the compilation you can load the classes at the runtime also for that we have some methods are there we can load the classes on demand so on demand in the sense multiple classes are there i need only this class you can load only this class at the runtime so these are the some most popular features of java thank you